body was like a puppet or a marionette with strings and a crossbow. Like in uh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio clearly starts out as, as a puppet. Geppetto has made the puppet. And the, the puppet master moves the puppet. And you, you might say that in terms of inner purpose, um, if we call that purpose to wake up, we call that spirit, and then this other alien purpose called ego is a death wish. It's like which hand is moving the puppet is very important. Because the actions of the puppet are just depending on who's moving the, the crossbow. So to me, that's where you, you do have to get very clear on your purpose. And it does come from within you. And it's often associated with form. You know, I'm, I'm a carpenter, I'm a bricklayer, I'm a, a chef, I'm this, or I'm a this role, that role. And that's really, those functions are part of a false identity that in the end we have to let go of. Now if I take the, the metaphor of Pinocchio one more step, if, if you remember the story of Pinocchio, you know, he, he wants to be a real boy. He wants to be an autonomous real boy. He wants to be off the strings, is really what he wants. And oh, he's got a lot of problems. That's where the drama of the whole fairy tale comes in, is he's, he's off the strings, he gets drawn to Pleasure Island, <laughs> <laughs> and um, we know where it goes from there, you know, and half boys, half donkeys, you know, it, it gets to be really a kind of a crazy dualistic uh, metaphor. And then there's Jiminy Cricket, you know, the conscious, who's, who's always trying to advise him. He tells him, don't go to Pleasure Island. But he goes anyway and he gets a, a nightmare uh, as a result. So. Uh, I had a friend who I worked with for years who channeled all this music from the angels and she, at one point, she said, I got it, I want to get back on the strings. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to have the spirit pulling the strings. Which takes the pressure and the guilt off of trying to figure it out from the perspective of the puppet. What do I do? Where do I go? You know, if you're back on the strings, which I call guidance, you know, really being Kind of, you know, like St. Francis, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. That's that kind of saying of going back on the strings and, and really relaxing into that, where the question doesn't become, what should I do or what should I not do? It's more, what is my purpose? That, that purpose in mind really clarifies absolutely everything and, and integrates the whole perception.